when we come back, we'll be catching up with Centum Chairman Chris Karubi to find out about the possibility of issuing a bond to expand further into energy, healthcare and education. Stay with us. Welcome back to Bloomberg TV Africa special coverage of the Africa CEO Forum here in Geneva. East Africa's largest publicly traded investment group, Centum, is setting up partnerships to expand further in energy, education, as well as healthcare, as it targets an annual return of 35% for shareholders. I caught up with Chairman Chris Karubi to find out if they're considering selling bonds in order to expand into these industries. We're trying to raise funds. We are going in. We're going into energy production. We're going to do over 1,200 megawatts power. We're doing half of that in geothermal. The rest is on coal, clean power. And um, we have many projects ahead of us. And uh, we believe from our performance before the, the, what the company has achieved, Everybody will want to be part of that, uh, that funding. Can you confirm that Centum is planning to sell $81 million worth of bonds? Yes, I, 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 I think we're one of the leading companies. Uh, in, in the last five years, we never distributed any, any dividend to our shareholders. They told us invest more, and the company has grown four or five times the value. So. We see it as an opportunity for people to create savings. Well, let's take a look at what you're planning to spend uh, the funds on. And we know that you're invested in various industries, including healthcare and education. You were talking about power as well. How do you plan to spend the money? We're going fast to energy. We are looking at development, property development. We are building one of the largest uh, shopping malls in, uh, in around Nairobi. We then want to do medical because in medical services, people are looking for quality. Many people are traveling to India and other markets for treatment. And we feel we have opportunity to create uh, diagnostic centers or many other things like that. So we are going into that. And with the middle class evolving, people want more and better schooling for their kids. And rather than send children abroad, we bring education to them. So we see it as an obvious business to be in, yes. Tell us your thoughts on the capital gains tax, which has now been reintroduced after being done away with uh, for many years. Do you think that it's going to create uh, a lot of problems with an investment in the real estate industry? I personally don't mind uh, taxes, government taxes, as long as they are well structured. And this particular tax to the stock exchange was not properly planned. And as a result, it has been suspended for a while. We believe we need taxes to develop countries' programs. Government has a lot of investment to do in infrastructure, and uh, we believe we should be paying our way through rather than allowing everything to be borrowed. So as long as the government consults with the people, as long as government uh, does things in the right manner, we are ready to pay, but we don't believe they should have unstructured taxes that causes upset in the marketplace. And equally, we must look, is Uganda, is uh, South Africa, is uh, Cairo charging uh, this capital gain tax on uh, stock market? If they are not, we are putting ourselves at a disadvantage. So we need to really relook really how do we raise money without upsetting the market growth. You recently sold UAP to Old Mutual, which of course creates an opportunity for you to invest in another uh, company as well. We know that your maturity date sits at around 10 years or so. What are you planning to sell off going forward? We buy and sell. We don't um, sell the bad things. We sell things because they have matured. We believe in selling our insurance business to Old Mutual. Old Mutual was going to do better, was going to add value to that company. And uh, we sell and eventually we'll be back in that sector one day, but not right now. We have priority in what we are doing. And uh, we thought uh, Old Mutual is a perfect partner 
and we needed that money to put into our new businesses. It's always good to turn around businesses. When it matures, you give it to somebody else to manage the, the mature baby, and you go on and create new babies. So this is where we are. We, we, we have a very dynamic young team, and um, we believe we can do many more things.